Hey guys, I have another haul for you, and today's haul is from a vendor that I've never tried before, and she's also very new, and that is called Kissing Booth. Here's her business card, which is actually a magnet. I think that's really clever, and I will be putting this on my fridge. The website is kissingboothshop.com. Now what I really like about this vendor is that her scents are really unique. I would say that probably 85% of her scents I've never seen anywhere before and I think that's what sets her apart from other vendors. Right now she's just offering clamshells. These are samples so I think that was really nice of her to send me samples um, with everything. And these are just like traditional tarts. Another thing I wanted to mention is that if you go on the website and you're interested in buying more than just a couple of tarts, she actually offers bundles. So uh, you can buy these separately, I think, for $3.25. Yeah, $3.25. Or you can buy bundles of five, 10, or 20, and you're actually saving some money if you do it that way. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well as she is running a promotional code until December 15th for 10% off. So like I said, she is very new and she does have a bunch of unique scents, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So if you decide that you wanna try her stuff out, um, like I said, there is a 10% code and I'll leave the code down below. It's just welcome. So let me go ahead and get started and show you guys everything I ended up getting. Okay, so the first scent I want to talk about is called after Church, The Little Ones, and this one really intrigued me. It's a two-tone color with brown on the bottom, and it has pink sparkles on the top. And the description for this one says, My very favorite Sunday school treat was canned vanilla frosting smashed between two graham crackers washed down with a paper cup of sugary fruit punch. Now, I'm sure you guys know that I absolutely love drink scents as well as fruit scents. So this was straight up my alley. I'm not a big fan of like vanilla scents, but this one I had to give a try. So this smells so nice. On top is the uh, fruit punch and the bottom is the graham cracker. So right now all I'm really getting is the fruit punch, but this is so pretty. I think she decorates so nice and I'm really impressed with her scents. So the next one is Jolly Pirates and this one says, I once sailed with pirates in Aruba, where the drink of choice on board was pina colada with a syrupy splash of grenadine. And once again, another fruit scent, another drink scent, so I'm really happy. It is a two-tone with white on the bottom and then red on the top, and it has glitter, if you can see that. So on the top is the, um, the grenadine which is just like a cherry syrup, if you guys are unfamiliar, and then the bottom is the pina colada. So I'm not getting any of the pina colada right now, but I'm really excited to melt this. And then the next one is called Mr. Draper, and this is from a limited edition collection that she has. She put out three scents that are from TV shows, which I'm not familiar with because I don't watch these TV shows, but the description of this one says, an old-fashioned cocktail of bourbon, orange, and sugar cane with subtle hints of aftershave. So this one smells really good as well, and it's really unique. I can definitely smell the orange and bourbon, but I'm not sure about the sugar cane or the aftershave. I mean, it is a sweet scent, but I don't really know what aftershave smells like. I mean, it's a men's cologne sort of scent, but... I'm excited to see what this one smells like when I melt it. And it's just all white with a cute little felt tie on it. And then the next one is also from her limited edition collection. And this is called Miss Francis. And this one says, Gin Gimlet with touches of feminine lavender and bitter grapefruit. So to me, I'm mostly getting the grapefruit. I don't really smell too much lavender. I'm sure it'll come out once I melt it, but I don't mind it smelling mostly like grapefruit because I'm not the biggest floral person. This is also all white and it has a cute little flower on it. So this one I'm really looking forward to melting. Then the next one is one that I'm super excited about. This one is called Inca Soda. It's all yellow and it has uh, little blue glitters on it. And the description of this one is pretty interesting. It says, the golden Peruvian libitation akin to lemon, verbena, and cactus pear. So that sounds kind of weird, I know. But basically this is just a Peruvian soda. 
And to me, I can definitely get a little hint of lemon and just a little bit of the cactus. Which I know you're probably like, what does cactus smell like? But I've had cactus and sea salt sounds before, so it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that maybe there's some uh, carbonation in this when um, I melt it, so we'll see how this one is. I'm probably going to end up uh, melting these really soon and putting them in my monthly roundup video. So the next one is called Certain Death, and this one is all brown, and then it has little... Um, pieces on top. I think it's just uh, red wax shavings. But this one is described as refreshing bubbly cola mixes with popping candy for this death defying concoction. So this reminds me of, you know, like pop rocks and soda. So let me go ahead and smell this one. And I definitely get pop rocks and soda. This one is so good. It has the carbonation. So as you can see, there's kind of a trend going here. I wanted to try all of her like drink type scents. This one smells so, so good. So that one's called Certain Death. And then I wanted to go ahead and talk about all of the samples she sent me. So this one is called Sweet On You and the description says, fresh citrus combines with sensual vanilla layered over bergamot, neroli, and tangerine for a sweet yet masculine aroma. So this one is kind of florally. This one is called cranberry sauce and it says a tangy sweet medley of cranberry and sugar topped with a sprinkle of dried orange zest. So this one really excites me. Um, I love cranberry sauce, especially because it is around Thanksgiving time. Well, Thanksgiving already passed, but yeah, it's around Thanksgiving. The next one is Candy Apple, and this one just says True Sugar-Coated Granny Smith Apple, and I love apple scents, so I'm sure I'll love that one. And then last but not least, this one's called Kissing Booth, which is named after her company. And this one is described as a sweet combination of peaches, red plums, and cherry blossoms. So like I said before, I will probably get to melting these really soon because I love all of these scents so much. I will be putting them in my monthly roundup, so stay tuned for those. But if you want to see any individual scent reviewed, go ahead and leave those requests down below and I will make sure to make those videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!